Have you ever pondered the tales of legendary figures who have left an indelible mark on history? Today, we delve into the life of one such figure, the iconic Sioux warrior, Sitting Bull. Born in 1831, in the territories that are presently known as South Dakota, Sitting Bull was a symbol of the invincible spirit of the Sioux tribe. Growing up amidst the formidable Sioux, a tribe celebrated for its valiant warriors and deep spiritual beliefs, Sitting Bull's early life was immersed in rich cultural traditions and ancestral wisdom. His formative years were a mix of hunting buffalo, learning to ride, and understanding the sacred bond between the Sioux and the land they called home. These experiences shaped him into a leader of unyielding resolve. A life marked for greatness, Sitting Bull's early years were the building blocks to the legend he would become. As a young warrior, Sitting Bull exhibited extraordinary courage and strategic prowess. From his youth, he showcased a spirit that was both unyielding and fiercely protective of his tribe, the Hunk Papa Sioux. Sitting Bull, or Tatanka Ayotake, as he was known amongst his tribe, became a warrior out of necessity, not by choice. As the intrusion of white settlers escalated, the Sioux found themselves in a desperate fight for their lands, their way of life, and their very existence. In this crucible of conflict, Sitting Bull emerged as a symbol of defiance. His rise to prominence within the Sioux tribe was not merely a matter of physical strength. Yes, he was a formidable warrior, but his true strength lay in his strategic insights and his ability to inspire those around him. This was a man who led not by instilling fear, but by fostering respect. Perhaps the most notable demonstration of Sitting Bull's leadership and strategic abilities was his role in the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876. Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse led 2,000 Indians against 210 cavalrymen, led by Lieutenant Colonel George A. Custer at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. The Sioux, under Sitting Bull's guidance, executed a masterful strategy that resulted in a resounding victory. This event was not just a military triumph, but a strong assertion of Sioux sovereignty. Sitting Bull's bravery was not confined to the battlefield. He was a staunch advocate for his people, refusing to back down in the face of immense pressure from the U.S. government. His unwavering commitment to the preservation of Sioux culture and way of life made him as much a spiritual leader as he was a military one. His victory against General Custer at the Battle of Little Bighorn solidified his reputation as a formidable force. Yet his legacy extends far beyond this single battle. Sitting Bull's life and leadership serve as enduring symbols of resilience and resistance, reminding us of the power of standing up for what we believe in, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. But Sitting Bull was more than a warrior. He was a symbol of resistance against the United States government's intrusion on Native American territories. This Hunk Papa Lakota leader remained a steadfast beacon of defiance, refusing to yield to the immense pressure exerted by an expansionist nation. As the United States government pushed further into Native American territory, Sitting Bull's resistance only intensified. He was not a man who would stand by as his people's lands were taken and their way of life threatened. He stood firm, a boulder against the tide, refusing to bow to the demands of those who sought to displace his people. A key moment of Sitting Bull's defiance came in the form of his refusal to sign the Treaty of Fort Laramie in 1868. This document, proposed by the U.S. government, aimed to confine the Sioux people to reservations. Sitting Bull, however, saw through this thinly veiled attempt to further marginalize his people and firmly rejected the proposal. Yet, his resistance did not stop at refusal. Sitting Bull was a vocal advocate for the preservation of Native American culture. He understood that their culture was their identity, their strength, and their source of resilience. He also played a key role in the ghost dance movement of the late 19th century. This spiritual revival aimed to restore the Sioux's way of life and resist the U.S. government's attempts to assimilate them. Sitting Bull's support for the movement was yet another testament to his unwavering commitment to his people's rights and traditions. Even in the face of immense pressure, Sitting Bull never faltered in his commitment to his people. He was a symbol of resistance, a beacon of defiance, an advocate for cultural preservation, and a leader who stood against the intrusion of his people's lands. 
His legacy remains a powerful reminder of the importance of standing up for one's beliefs and rights, no matter the challenges. The story of Sitting Bull is not just about battles won and lost. It is a legacy of resilience, bravery, and unwavering belief in one's cause. As we explore the legacy of Sitting Bull, we find an enduring symbol of Native American resistance. This legendary Sioux warrior continues to inspire generations long after his passing. His life, marked by unwavering conviction and resilience, resonates with the timeless struggle for justice and respect for cultural heritage. Born in the harsh plains of South Dakota, Sitting Bull's life was a testament to the strength and tenacity of the human spirit. His courage in the face of adversity, his refusal to surrender to the overwhelming forces of the U.S. government, and his steadfast commitment to the preservation of Native American culture have all contributed to his timeless legacy. The Battle of Little Bighorn, a milestone event in the history of Native American resistance, saw Sitting Bull's leadership skills shine. His strategic brilliance and indomitable spirit led his forces to a victory against General Custer's troops, a feat that has echoed through the ages. This triumph not only established his reputation as a fearless leader, but also served as a beacon of hope for his people. But Sitting Bull's legacy extends beyond the battlefield. He was a staunch advocate for his people's rights, fiercely resisting the encroachment of white settlers on Native American lands. His teachings and philosophies continue to influence the fight for indigenous rights today. Sitting Bull's story is one of courage, resilience, and an unwavering belief in one's cause. It serves as a powerful reminder of the lengths one can go to protect their cultural heritage and fight for their rights. His legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of all those who believe in standing up for what is right against all odds. His story serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of standing up for what you believe in, no matter the challenges. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Sitting Bull. Be sure to subscribe for more historical content.